Hello, hello, hello. Many people has been asking for doing a tutorial of how to install the uh, the plugin of Akai Mini for version three. So you gotta go to Image Line uh, Scripting Mini Controllers. You gotta find my post Akai MPK Mini. You gotta go to the page number two, and uh, then you gotta download the script and you gotta download the, pre the presets okay and follow these steps that I mentioned but I'm gonna make a video so you will have it really clear okay so once you download the things that I mentioned you have the presets and uh, you will have the uh, script okay so the script goes to somewhere similar to this path your uh, your your PC documents image line fl studio settings hardware and then you're gonna put a folder and you would will place my script here and the script as i mentioned you download here okay so you have done this uh, step it should show up in fl studio but i'm gonna show you that later okay so you got uh, my uh, presets that's very important because you have these different five programs each program each detailed here I mean FL plug FL controller FL mixer FL creative uh, FL creative and FL FPC so one is a channel drum machine it's FPC FL Creative is the most advanced control for controlling pretty much everything, load plugins. I mean, it can it can help you to build your song in terms of setting uh, setting up uh, your project, uh, browsing between the mixer, the channel rack, uh, load uh, things in the playlist load plugins effects on channels you can do a lot of things you can build a song while using fl creative i mean the the setup the bones of the song you can build it with this program fl mixer is mixer so it's a control dedicated to the mixer so you will use the knobs to move the mixer channels eight channels I'm sorry for that. I I can do it advanced in the future and control different channels. But at this moment it's only eight channels. FL controller, this one is the same as FL Creative, but in an old uh script more simple, which I believe it's good because you can browse between FL controller and FL Creative, so you get a snapshot of your current setups uh, I mean for example in FL Creative you can be controlling the mixer while in the FL controller you are controlling the channel rack FL mixer uh, I mean FL controller and FL Creative at the end are more or less the same but FL controller is simpler it's based on the first version of the script so it's like the classic controller this one this one is like using the classic controller and as i mentioned if you use this one with this one you can combine like for example uh, controlling the mixer in one and controlling the channel rack with the other so you can swap between the two and uh, do a lot of fun and fl plug this is the the newest one this is the control that at the end what it only does it change the knobs to control eight uh, different parameters on the uh, I mean eight different parameters on effects on samplers and uh, also uh, an instruments VST instruments so you will be controlling for example the cutoff or the resonance on a VST plugin but also control many other aspects with this one okay I know it's a very long explanation but uh, this script is really complete I mean uh, the way for swapping between the projects you need to hit the program select because otherwise you will not know that you are using my script so program select and you will choose 
Okay, so path number eight, for example, is this one. So that that will be FPC on here. In here you will have uh, FL Creative. In here you will have FL Mixer, and here you will have FL Controller. And lastly, in this one you will have FL Plug. This is the most new, and as I mentioned, it controls the plugin parameters. Very good. Okay, so uh, very long uh, stuff, but here. Okay, uh, this is the program editor. In order to make sure that my script will work, you need to import the, uh, the uh, here I put the um, different programs. So these programs are FL Plug, Mixer, Controller, uh, Creative, FLPC. So it's all here. You need to drag it to your desktop or somewhere. And then here you will go to File, open program and you will browse for my program okay so you will browse for these programs here oh this program fl creative fl pc and you will put it on the path that you want i mean you put uh, i mean i put uh, path eight seven six and five and four but the path will be here so this is path program one is this one is this button here Program two is this one, program three is this one, program four is this one, and so on. So until act eight. I have suggested here, this is a suggestion, pad eight, FPC, pad seven, but you can put it wherever you want. You just need to, uh, I mean, you just need to open. I'm gonna do it, okay? Just for, for showing how it's done this. So for example, uh let me mm, 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 mm. download uh yeah presets okay here it is okay good so i'm gonna put this one on the desktop fl creative okay let's say you only want fl creative file open program then you go to desktop fl creative okay you have it here but that's not all you need to send it to the device so in order for send it to the device you will press the send button for fl creative you want to put it on the pad one okay send here and you gotta do the same step with the other four because you have five here so you need to do one by one you need to hit the program to send it and that's it. I mean, once you've done this, you will know that my programs am, are loaded when you go to progr program select and choose the path that you have selected. And you will see on the screen uh, the name of the project. For example, in path 8, I have FFPC, FLFPC. On this one, I have FL Creative, FL Mixer A Channel in this one and this one FL controller and FL plug on this one those are the five that I have chosen but you can put maybe on another path so you you have the the I mean you have the uh, the opportunity here to choose what path you want so once you do you done that you just close and open FL studio and start trying my script Okay, on FL Studio, we will go to um, okay, it's loaded. Yeah, MIDI settings. You will select your Akai MPK Mini 3, and in here you will put port number 12, and to receive as well port number 12, and then you will go to controller type and you should make sure that you have scripts because if you only have generics and you have you don't have scripts here and you don't see akai mpk mini mk3 like this if you don't see this that means that you don't have the appropriate path where you have put the script so this is my appropriate path is this one is on my equipment documents 
image line FS Studio settings hardware MPK mini it should be here somewhere I mean if it's not that path it should be different path but it it's some kind of similar right but at the end you should so see here my script if you don't see my script it doesn't it doesn't stay on the proper path so you need to make sure this and of course it will not work if you don't have this so make sure that you see this and you put the port 12 and 12 and that's it I mean once you've done that you will be able to use my script okay so I'm gonna show it really quick FL controller for example yes I'm controlling stuff <laughs> it works so that means that you need to check these steps very important a step to load the Akai MPK mini editor and load my scripts my my um, my different programs in some programs because you have eight programs that's the most important thing okay so I have uh, well I have making sure that you are gonna install my script in a proper way I think uh, so thank you for watching my uh, my video and I hope that you will have a fun time with the script enjoy